This is Coach Sato from DRS Athletics, and I'm going to be showing you today's uh, demos. I will focus on rope climbs only, since that is one thing we haven't demoed, but everything else stays the same as written in other videos. Remember, hollow position is going to be super important, and time under tension for strongmen and strong brosish Thursdays, pretty much. Okay, let's talk about these rope climbs. The main thing I want you to think when you do a rope climb is you have to have a secure lock with your feet. It really is for you to be able to pull yourself up and hold yourself through your entire body weight. But if you don't have a good lock position, which I'll show you how to do that, it's going to be very, very inefficient. And so you're going to tire out very fast. So the max efforts on the minutes are just going to go so quick where you're not going to be able to pull yourself up. It is literally a lock. You inch your way up, you inch warm your way up, a lock, a squat, a lock, a squat, as you're pulling through your arms. It really is that efficient, but you have to have a good lock. So let's talk about the locks. The J-hook lock, it is the most efficient and the one that takes the least amount of time to reset, to rehook, to relock on the way up and to release for it to go down. So let's talk about feet. Feet are gonna be super important. So I'm gonna be putting this camera on my feet. So regardless if you're righty or lefty, you're going to make a hook with your bottom foot. So if I'm gonna go with my left foot here, I'm gonna make a J on top of that foot. If I'm gonna go with my right foot here, pretend these are my feet, I'm gonna do a J into that lock position. So regardless, we do a J with the opposite foot. So first things first is your rope needs to be in between your legs. If your rope ends up outside, regardless of a good lock, it's just going to go away. And you're not going to have that much control. So always in between. The next thing is you're going to pick one foot. I'll pick the right one because most of you guys are righties. And that is going to be dragging up and bringing my knees up as I do this this other foot is gonna be making a J position a J letter into the top of my feet or next to my foot right so as I do this I'm going to be reaching up just a little bit not too far right because the closer to my face the easier the farther from my body the harder it is to pull so I'm gonna be reaching up just a tad bit. I'm gonna bring this leg as high as I can. I'm not jumping yet, because I need to have control. I'm gonna J-hook it, and I'm gonna squeeze. Here's my lock. I go slow, I J-hook it, and I squeeze. If I'm able to do that, I'm gonna be able to hold myself up and inch my way up. So this is how I'm gonna show you now. I reach up. If you're strong, you can reach higher or you can jump. But remember, we wanna keep everything under control. This doesn't have to be fast to learn the lock and to learn how to climb. Once you get more efficient, you can put more jump, you can put a lot more dynamic movement, but first has to be strict for you to know that you can handle your body weight without having to drop or drag or slip or anything like that. This could be very safe if you treat it that way. So I'm gonna reach, I'm gonna bring my legs, you'll see this on the screen, I'm gonna bring my legs up here and I'm gonna make my lock right about here. This requires for me to tuck back, just like on our toes to bars, and for me to get my knees as high as I can with some flexibility and strength. So I'm gonna go up here, I'm not gonna jump, I'm just gonna lift, and I'm gonna get into this lock position. From here, you'll see all I'm doing I'm gonna step on that block and now I'm into that next position. So how to begin to do this? Working on the lock by laying down or sitting on a box, right? Which we could show you in person. Then from there, you are standing just like I was, working on the lock. And then the next thing is you work on the lock, you inch your way up once, you let it go, you inch your way up twice. And then on the way down, which is one of the hardest things to do, is you must let go of that J-hook 
right, that J lock, and either squeeze like this, like the fireman, like that, or you can keep the J hook and loosen it up a little bit as you slide down. Now, if you have shoes that are super cushiony, they're gonna get destroyed. So you're gonna have to have some shoes that are a little bit more sturdy, like CrossFit shoes, cross training shoes. But that is how you mainly are going to get yourself up on this rope by having a really good J hook. Again, if this were my feet, my foot goes up, it graces through my laces. Oh, that rhyme. Graces through my laces. I J hook it, I squeeze, and that rope is gonna be in between my legs the entire time. Then once I inch my way up, then I let it go, and then I bring myself up and over again. You should be able to get to the rope climbs in two to three if you're very efficient with your coil, which is when we bring ourselves back down. If you think about the toaster bars here, right? That's the same position that I'm working to get my knees up. I know that's a lot of explanation, but I know a lot of you guys wanted to go in depth with what the rope climb consists of, so this is your chance. And once you watch this video, then you could come on over and we could teach you a few little things at a time. Remember, you have to have strength because you have to lift yourself up and you have to have patience because it's gonna take some time and working one thing at a time because this has to be safe. You're not gonna just slide yourself down. We have to make sure that you're able to bring yourself back down, which is the hardest part actually, once you've conquered on the way up. All right, I hope that was helpful. If you have any questions, um, in, there's demand. I love to do a workshop for rope climbing. Once again, we did it before in the past and it worked out really great. So we could do it again. All right, let's go!